Here's how we install the boards. After you have removed the dome from your unit, lay out the pieces on top of the table or on a flat surface. Each board piece is marked with two letters, one on each side. The letter should be aligned with its matching letter on its adjoining piece. A's together, B's together, etc. Slip the fittings of the corner pieces into the side pieces and fasten with the 3M zinc screws. There are two types of screws, zinc screws and stainless steel. The zinc screws are used to assemble the boards. The stainless steel screws are only for the assembly of the dasher, which is the top red piece of your boards. Tighten the screws securely. It is important not to over tighten and strip the screw. The top of the screw head should be below the metal wall of the board frame. Attach all four corners. Next, locate the matching letters on the white ring board for each corner of the aluminum frame. Start in one corner and work your way around the boards. The white ring board should be fastened securely, but again do not over tighten so the screws do not strip. The screw should countersink into the boards and be fairly flush once tightened. Now it's time to install the board decals. We find the easiest way to install the board decals is on the ground. Have the boards on their side leaning up against the wall. Use the approved layout from the beginning stages of your order to align your decals. Our Toothkin logo is always on the center line of the Jumbotron arm side. The middle three logos on your decal are centered over the center ice and blue lines of your ice. Once you have aligned your decals, bend the backer back on one side of your decal and draw a line so you know where the decal should start. Peel two to three inches of the sticker off the backer and align with the mark you just made on the boards. The most important alignment is the bottom of the boards as it needs to be aligned with the bottom of the yellow line on your sticker. Keep the decal taut and adjust up and down to keep the bottom of the sticker and the bottom of the boards perfectly aligned. Work in three to seven inch sections, aligning first, then smoothing out the decal to make sure of no air bubbles. Once again, it is very important that the bottom of the yellow line be aligned with the bottom of the boards. So take your time and make sure it's lined up perfectly. Sometimes it's easier to go to one side when aligning your board and decal. If an issue arrives, peel back a little of the decal and reapply. Little air bubbles can be pushed out of the top or bottom part of the decal. For the decal located behind the net, align the middle of the decal with the seam in the boards. Dry fit your decal and fold the backer of one end to mark the edge of the decal on your whiteboard. Continue and finish all four sides. Remember, the yellow bottom of the sticker should be in line with the bottom of the boards. The ChexMods.com logo should be located where there are two screw holes in the whiteboards. The lower hole is for the bumper and the middle hole is to attach the whiteboard to the aluminum frame. For the corners, you will be overlapping the decals you have already laid with your corner decals. Peel back the entire decal, line it up, and apply. Once again, making sure the yellow bottom of the sticker is in line with the bottom of the boards and that the yellow line lines up on each side, creating a seamless decal. Install the four red corner dasher pieces by matching the letter on the dasher with the letter on the frame. You can see the letters on the existing board frame in the gaps between the boards and the frame. Screw down with the 3M stainless steel screws. Make sure they are snug but do not over tighten so you do not strip the screw. When all four corners are done, the boards are complete. Set them to the side until they are needed.